It's day 22 of the No Sugar Added Challenge. Joan, Talon, and Thomas are on their way to meet with a dietary expert to discuss how their month has gone and to learn what role sugar has been playing in their health. What is it? Oh, sorry. Your nose is perfectly clean. This is what we have to clear out first. <laughs> clear the nostrils. Get it all out there. Okay. Your nose has been clean. You're fine. Stop. You're, you stop worrying about your nose. Hi, I'm Ann Matthews. I'm a registered dietitian and associate professor in the Department of Food Science and Human Nutrition at the University of Florida. We just basically wanted to sit down. Professional input is very important yeah. right now with like, you know. We don't know. We're what? a bunch of lay people. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, please. So what's it been like? What is up everybody? Some time ago, near the end of July, Joan had given me a call to tell me that for the month of August, they and Talon were going to challenge themselves by cutting all added sugar out of their diet entirely. And they wondered if I would like to join them and vlog our experience as part of a new installment in Awkward Adventures. We haven't done an Awkward Adventure since I learned to cook back in the summer of 2017, so I figured it was about time to add to that series, don't you think? But in order to effectively tell you this story, I'm gonna have to take you back to August 1st. 2018. Rewind! So Camden, when I'm thinking for this, re so like, you're gonna have the whole vlog footage, and you're just gonna re August 1st, 2018. we've yeah. kind of already started it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, today loosely. I mean, like, I think at 3 a.m. last night we ate some vanilla ice cream with some Nutella. Yeah. I was gonna we were gonna like, say, we haven't gone to sleep yet. I, I will be honest, I woke up at 6.40 because I couldn't sleep, and I was like, I'm going to finish off the chocolate ice cream in the freezer. Sure. So that I wasn't tempted from it. Well, then, you went back to sleep. Then I went back to sleep. And then it was so a, new a new day. day. <laughs> at the beginning of the month, the three are discussing their hopes for the coming challenge. I don't know how I'm going to respond to this yeah. because I think the biggest thing for me is figuring out what exactly does have added sugar. Because mm. I'm gonna, I, I think I'm gonna be surprised. This is like a step up from last year when we did an awkward adventure, is learning how to cook. Yeah. Now it's like cook. No sugar added. Yeah. Should I be looking when I go to the store to get stuff? Should I be looking for labels that say sugar added, or will they most likely say no sugar added? Uh, it's really yeah. safe to shop for vegetables and fruit. Or if it just says zero grams of sugar on the back, you're good. You don't like vegetables or fruit? Uh, no. <laughs> We're gonna document uh, our, our month. We're going yes. to all record, and then we'll check back in after the month's up and see if like we're feeling better, see if we look any better, all that jazz, see if our skin's doing better. <laughs> all of our skin. Yeah, all of it. Every inch. Every inch. Every inch. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Well, we'll see you in a second when we're like, vlogging. <laughs> hey look guys, I'm cooking my breakfast. I'm cooking my breakfast. I'm cooking my breakfast. Oh yeah. I need salt and pepper in my eggs! Day two. Joan wastes no time. Are you recording? Yeah. This is the egg buddy. It's a thing that helps you cook eggs and it's so useful. Oh jeez. Oh, Maybe the egg buddy isn't so good. Be good, huh? Joan's endeavor marks the beginning of the team's long anticipated approach to avoiding added sugar, cooking, and inspires a slew of new projects. Tonight, I have uh, learned that making a risotto, because cheese does not have added sugar, is uh, something that is totally acceptable as far as something I can eat. Yum. No sugar added. Two good separate meals. Garnish with a little truffle oil. Yes, sir. So I made a smoothie bowl, and I put um, sunflower seeds, oats, peanut butter, and chia seeds on it. We made a, the Shake Stack peanut butter burger, and the buns have no sugar added, and uh, we replaced the sugar in the peanut butter sauce with... Stevia. Stevia. So we decided to make some Mediterranean-style salmon, and I have Joan here in the family room. I'm cooking while they work. An egg in a hole. It's in V for Vendetta. Camden, roll a clip of the egg in a hole from V for Vendetta. So what you do is you start with a piece of bread, then you cut a little hole in the center. Oh yeah, that's a hole. Look at that. Perfect. Now I'm going to take my bread and the hole, and I'm 
gonna uh, butter one side and flip it. Cool. It's safe to say the team has succeeded in one of their goals, learning to make sugar-free meals. That's cooked salmon. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's return to a question. Alright, um, is there any, like, chemical property to sugar that makes it addictive in a way that, like, say, like, nicotine is, as opposed to, like, just being addictive in the way that, like, shopping can be? I don't know anything about shopping and addiction, but yes, there are, you know, even with other foods too, studies that show that you can activate, you know, different foods will activate different portions of the brain in a positive way. So essentially feelings of pleasure with sugar that you might get from drugs and other things too. Whether it's really addictive or not, that's a controversial. Yeah. Generally people's cravings for sugar don't interfere with the rest of their lives. So, like a drug or alcohol addiction would be. Do you think ours does? <laughs> <laughs> I just watched one of those Bon Appetit videos where the where the lady makes uh makes like gourmet versions of desserts or candies. I did that to myself and uh, I stand by it. I liked the video. It was a good video. I do want Oreos. I want chocolate cake. I have a problem. I'm going through sugar withdrawals. Day seven. It's been a week, and I want ice cream so bad. I want Ben and Jerry's ice cream with brownies, and I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I just ate a bunch of popcorn, and I hate popcorn. I used to work at a movie theater. It made me hate popcorn even more. I want sugar. Kettle corn's the best kind of popcorn. Popcorn with sugar on it. I want pastries. A lot of this video is just going to be me complaining about what sweets that I want. We're up early for us, and uh, we're at the vet with Boy Kitty. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, uh, I really want to believe that I'm going to get over these cravings, but there's no sign of stopping yet or slowing or whatever. Not having sugar is like the worst thing in the world. I'm anxious and I got no sugar! Sugar is the best. I don't care if it's slowly killing me or it's bad for me. Um, I'd rather have a short life where I could have chocolate cake. I used to think like I'm like, oh, I'm not someone with an addictive personality. I thought like I don't get like hooked on things, mm -hmm. uh, but I definitely have a problem with sugar. Like I, it's it's really like I'm like I need it. Like, really, yeah. this would not turn out to be as daunting for Thomas. This was less of a trial for me, just because like you're more of a salty person. I can get some salty food and be, oh, yeah. it hits that spot. Yeah. Thomas would face no challenges with addiction this month, but instead would battle with the fear and frustration of missed experiences. Ridiculous. I, I have to document it. I was getting delivery and the delivery person was like, oh, we have like a leftover pizza and you're such a good customer, we're going to go ahead and give you this leftover pizza. And I was like, I can't. I don't know if any sugar went into the making of the dough or the sauce, but I have to document it because I was like, what are the freaking odds? This would be the first in a gauntlet of opportunities Thomas would have to turn down. Oh my God. Gosh, I'm sorry. Today we did a short video involving a whole bunch of M&Ms. Yeah. Some did fall into my mouth, so I had to spit them up. Yeah. So I tried to be good and order a detox green smoothie that's naturally sweetened today. They sent me a chocolate mocha smoothie. Like they were, they knew. They knew that this is what's happening for this month. Why? I am going to give you a buy one get one free dozen of Krispy Kreme donuts after we finish filming this video. Hallelujah. <laughs> We're really gonna go do that. <laughs> Terrence has actually been like one of the bigger tests this month, but also just because of his kindness. He's always offering food for me to eat, but it's always like got some sort of sugar in it. And it looks really freaking, just give me, a, let me see. Oh my gosh, you got them, like, all of these glazed? Yes, I did. <laughs> What's the other one look like? Uh, oh my boy. gosh, oh, the chocolate. Oh, now it's hot. Uh, Marianne! Uh-uh. <laughs> Nuh-uh, I know she didn't. How? How you waiting to them? Now the hot sign is on. I am, I am really bothered. Uh, we literally just walked <laughs> we out. We literally just walked out, and now they're like, now they're hot. You Can bought we? the last of their cold donuts. Can we? I'm going to get one free. I'm going to get one. I'm so hurt. I'm gonna tell her that too. <laughs> he really likes this hot dog. Look at him. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, did he get a whole other box? What happened? I got him for free, Sean! Oh my yes. gosh. Yes. Oh! <laughs> oh! Jesus! You know what? I'm enjoying this through wow. your experience. She said, I got you. I said, Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it does smell really good. Meanwhile, Joan and Talon are exploring their options. Which I've never got before, but it says they're super sweet, which I think is super neat. That's what's gonna be in my uh, dessert substitute. Brownies, crumb cake, cupcakes. <laughs> you accidentally like run into an old woman. Is something that would happen? Yeah, we're trying to shop for ketchups. See if there's a no sugar added ketchup. This beauty. Oh uh, yeah, it's oh, Nickelodeon no. slime. Ew. Is that all the food coloring gathered at the bottom? So. Yeah, it's like green. There's no way this one can look like neon green. Mm. Or your hair green. 100% natural. It has four grams of sugar. But is it natural sugar? I'm sure it's like sh cane sugar or something. Uh, yeah, so we might make homemade ketchup, but it's gonna take all day. We found uh, some bread that has... Uh, Less than one gram. Damn. Yeah, which is the best we could do with bread. What was that? There you go. Less than one gram. Oh, okay. You want that? So, Italian bread it is. <laughs> We've chosen to cut the footage here, because due to the events of that day, Talon incurred serious injuries. Just kidding. We just have to get back to the interview. Yeah, so I, I think, uh... Day 22 of the No Sugar Added Challenge. Trial of a month. After many new experiences, the team seeks to learn the effect that sugar has on their health. Oh, yeah, ADHD. Yeah, yeah. How does sugar affect mental health, but more specifically, like, ADHD and ADD? You know, people that have poor quality diets, meaning typically very refined carbohydrates, high in sugar, low in fruits and vegetables, and, you know, what we think of whole foods and dietary fiber, are more at risk for ADHD. Well, guys, you missed it. There was a squirrel fight earlier. And also one squirrel stood up and had a pine needle on his head. Is there a difference yeah. in terms of like, just like taking cane sugar or like processed, like white sugar or brown sugar or whatever? Is there a difference between like those sugars and just like the naturally occurring sugar and fruit? And like what sets those Again, apart? it goes back to what's the potentially, what are you missing? You know, the food that you're eating that has the fruit or milk. It has other stuff has in other there. Stuff that stuff in it that the, you know, the soda you're drinking doesn't. Boy, I tell you what, a good way to circumvent having uh, foods with sugar in them is by getting the stuff, uh, I think you guys call it fruits and vegetables. Uh, turns out they have natural sugars and actually make stuff taste good if you like add them to things. <laughs> Who would have thought? No, I've eaten more uh, fruit this month than I normally mm -hmm. do. I love fruit. Because I like, it gives me that like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. What are steps moving forward past this month that we could potentially take in order to, you know, obviously not go full swing back into added sugar, um, but like maybe steps that over years could help us experience better quality of life. I think just paying attention to what you're eating, which is what you've been doing for the last month. Yeah. So when you do want something sweet, you know, just stop for a minute and think about, are you hungry? Is it really that you're just craving something sweet? And if you're hungry, you should probably have a meal first. Have you guys, you said you were going to try doing the homemade ketchup without sugar today. We're gonna, today? It becomes clear that besides finishing the month, there's only one more goal that Joan has not yet accomplished. What's up, f***ers? I'm gonna make ketchup. <laughs> I'm gonna make some ketchup. Moments come, we're gonna taste test the ketchup. Mm. How's that look? Ketchup, it looks good. Looks like natural ketchup. I'm going in. Yeah, it tastes like natural ketchup. It tastes like organic ketchup. We're gonna eat our food now.
five. So this machine, it's really measuring your skin carotenoid concentration. So the carotenoids are phytochemicals in fruits and vegetables. I feel like my eyes start to glaze over. <laughs> As you eat more, they accumulate in your skin. Mm -hmm. Put your finger in this little machine, and there's a light source there, so it actually pushes. It's just going to squeeze your finger a little it's bit. It's going to stack. No, it's, it's not. Stack. It's essentially the light reflecting on your skin. So it correlates to your serum. Status. I'm so ready. All right, so put your finger in there. It's gonna give a little reading. So 174. So again, the higher the better, but that would mean it's a rough estimate that you approximately eat about two servings of carotenoid-rich fruits and vegetables per day. The lowest I've seen was about 50, and the highest I've seen. Was Watch about me be below 50. <laughs> oh. Oh. Worst. Uh, well, we haven't done the meat. But wait. Oh, it's not that high. The sock. Oh, oh my god. Yes, Anna. That's all that we were here for. We wanted to make sure your carotenoid status was up to date. <laughs> the trio has accomplished and learned many things. For Joan and Thomas, it's time to finish out the month in style. All right, so it is August 27th and uh, I have been packing because uh, guess what? Guess where we're supposed to be going at the end of this month? And then Camden, this is where we would cut to me on the way to Australia. 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 We're trying to be quiet so that we're not so disruptive to the rest of the people in this airport lounge. I figure this is going to be the nice like challenge mode of the no sugar added challenge. Travel is just going to be the hardest yeah. time to eat properly. Sure. Because yeah. the options are limited. I, yeah, my thinking is just that. Why are we doing this in the first place? We're doing it for health reasons. Yes. And I feel like the healthier alternative is eating to not eating. So if we can't, absolutely can't find anything with no sugar added, we have to eat. We need to find sustenance. Yeah. If so. Like I haven't eaten all day and there's a brownie sundae. Like, <laughs> all we have here is brownie sundaes in this entire gas station. Yeah, I'm like, oh man. Oh. <laughs> one of these fruits. Oh. There it is. <laughs> I feel like I'm one of those those video games, first person yeah. thing, but <laughs> yeah. eat it. <laughs> just like, oh. Yeah, and I, it's, wait, it's an online multiplayer game, but I haven't looked at it. Some cheese. That's it. That's. That probably doesn't count. That probably good. doesn't count. Yeah. My worst nightmare. Carrots. Cookies. Nope. 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 All right, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Five hours in the air and then another 14. Somebody's excited. We've had an apple. I don't like a lot of fruits, but apples. I like mangoes, and I like plums, and I like pineapple, and I like watermelon. Oh, pineapple's really good. Not watermelon. Do I'm you not like a fan pineapple? of watermelon. <laughs> See, we were having a really charming moment, and then, and then you did that. Gentlemen, please reach down and make sure that your seatbelt is securely fastened around you. Go ahead and be stowed. Apply this stowed for departure. So I'm okay. Once again, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if I've really included a lot of this in the vlog so far, and I don't think at all, but I've definitely been limiting, like, as far as alcohol consumption to red wine, but, uh... What were you saying, Matt? It's got natural occurring sugars in it. You know, yeah. like, you have, like, it's, it's grapes. Grapes have natural occurring sugars, as with a mango or pineapple or anything like that. So when it's fermented, it just sugar. I know when I was trying to lose a lot of weight that my trainer was like, don't drink alcohol because of the high sugar content. So basically now I'm just kind of worried that like this whole month has been for nothing because I've been sabotaging myself. That might have been the bit your biggest source of sugar consumption. Yeah, probably. But it definitely, I mean, this whole experience has been to just point out like stuff that we didn't know had sugar. I'm really, I'm trying to struggle with that fact that I just learned. <laughs> Officially here in Melbourne, Australia. How do you think we did while traveling as far as like our diet was concerned? Okay. We definitely turned a lot of things down. Yeah, we turned down cookies, cinnamon rolls, ice cream sundaes. I think we all in all made the right decisions. Yeah. Because, like we ate what was necessary. Yeah. Instantly we found a nice little place. Can't touch that. So we found freshly squeezed spirulina, which is really wow. Wow, Joe. Ah! 
liked it. This is a meal called Barramundi. Joan got some awesome linguine with clams. Mighty fine today. Thanks. <laughs> Say hello, everybody. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. So, of course, on our walking tour of Melbourne, they took us to a sweet. I already cheated. A sweet shop. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> it is. I feel like it is. Salted chocolate. And caramel. It's a caramel. Dang, that is good. Yeah. That was really good. And so now we are here. It hey. is the month of September. Yes, wait, you came in way too early. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so that brings us back to now, in the month of September. And to close out the video, I'm gonna bring back two of the people that you've seen a lot of. Hey, there's hi, one of them. Hi. Wait, no, Joan, Joan. Oh, they're so sugar deprived. Hey. So we're now out of it. Yeah. How are you guys feeling? We're I'm sick. sick. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, before you got sick, did you feel like there was any sort of Changes for me personally. I felt the best about it around the beginning. I was yeah. like, I felt like I was like, I'm taking control. I think it was more of a willpower high. Yeah, no, I felt like I, I don't, I don't know. I felt like I was much more aware of what I was being, yeah. what I was putting into my body. I don't know. It just felt like there was, there was definitely moments yeah. when I was like, wow, I would never have been aware of what was in this food had I not checked. Yeah. yeah. What were your thoughts, Talon? When you, like yeah. near the okay. end, like, did you feel TMI time? The first few weeks, like <laughs> my bathroom business was doing well. I am regular um, as. F I was doing pretty good, but because it then became my normal, my body went back to being like, mm. no bathroom time for you, and I was like, okay. How was your experience? I did feel better. I felt like that was half watching the sugar and just half like, I didn't know what was in this food because yeah. it was either delivered food yeah. or junk food, and so I stayed away from it. Here's my follow-up question, and it's the last question I'm gonna okay. ask. Do you think there was anything that happened in that month that you think is something you'd want to keep doing? Um, now I eat a lot of like oatmeal that comes out of just like the giant oat thing So it's not like a bunch of sugar and stuff. It's cheaper. It lasts longer and the little container is gonna be fun for my pet rat. Something I'd like to maintain is just like trying to be better about like making my own food whenever I can. For what I was hoping to get out of this, I feel like it would, I'd need to see something more significant. Better diet and exercise or something like that. Yes. You know? Exercise is a huge part of it. It's yeah. not just one or the yeah. other. But at least being knowledgeable about what is going in your body every time yeah. you eat. Like there's certain things that I think now I'll look differently at when I put it into my body. Oh, and because we uh, just came back from Australia, we definitely brought back the essentials. Let's get a candy party. Three, two, one. Candy party! Australian candy party. Kinder egg! Oh my god. <laughs> tip, tip, slip, tip, tip, slip. Um, I'm gonna do another month of no added sugar. Yeah. Starting now. So there you have it. Three individuals, one lofty goal, one awkward adventure. Until next time, I am documentarian and best friend, Camden Foote. Camden, are you done editing the vlog yet? Huh? Yeah, no. Well, no, I mean almost. I'm just trying to make some tweaks. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you were interested in any of my previous videos, you can click over here. If you're new to the channel and would like to subscribe, click down here. And if you're interested in becoming featured vander, click down here. That's it, and until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out! What are you guys doing back there? What is happening? <laughs> my mom's worked at a salon for a while, and every time she's worked at a salon, they've had a bowl of Hershey Kisses, and I would just progressively steal one, and another, and another, and another. And when I was really young, I used to be secretive about it. And one time they found a bunch of Hershey Kiss wrappers <laughs> stuffed in the couch. Because I was trying to hide the fact that I had eaten like 20. You didn't just like put it 20... in the trash? No. I was, I was uh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs>